Welcome, everybody. I'm Deb Goodrich. I'm Jane Humphrey Pierce. And I'm J.D. Perry. And we're coming to you from the Fort Wallace Museum with some very exciting news that involves the stagecoach right behind us, which is why we're sitting here. So, J.D., what are we doing with the stagecoach? Well, we're going to be having a group of guys, Rick Hamby and the Journey, will be coming, called Dust in the Wind, out here with their stagecoach um, going on the BOD trail. The BOD. we got a marker right there. The BOD was the Butterfield Overland Dispatch. And back in the 1860s, if you were going to take the stage from Atchison to Denver, where all that gold was found, remember, then you'd be traveling on the BOD. And that's our BOD stage right behind us there. But Rick and his friends from Missouri are bringing their own stage, the Journey. They have taken journeys all over the West in efforts to highlight our incredible American West history. And so we're very proud that this time they're going to be traveling on the Smoky Hill Trail. So if you wanna find out about this journey, which starts in the middle of May and culminates on May 26th at the 70th annual Fort Wallace Rodeo, then how can they find out more information, James? We really want to send you to our websites. We want you to go to ftwallace.com. We want you to go to ozarkradionews.com. And we want you to go to the Western Vistas Historic Byway.com to get the latest in information, including maps, schedules, and everything you'll need to know how to interact with this stagecoach journey. This includes uh, some blogging that's going to be going on. This is in, uh, live reports on the ground. So even if you're wanting to observe from a distance, there's going to be some opportunities for that too. So the good folks from Missouri are going to come out and begin their journey in far western Kansas at Mount Sunflower, which is our highest point. And then over the next few days, they'll be coming eastward along the Smoky Hill Trail to one of the most photographed spots in Kansas, the Monument Rocks. And all in between, they're visiting some incredible scenery and some amazing historic sites, like the original site of Pond Creek Station. And of course, Pond Creek Station, one of those BOD stops, is the reason Fort Wallace exists. It was created to serve the traffic on the BOD and then Fort Wallace to, create, to protect the traffic along the BOD trail. So you can join them as they camp there and then some of the other places like Russell Springs, which is an awesome, beautiful spot and some of the other spots along the way. But as Jane said, visit the websites for the schedule and then visit our Facebook pages and all our social media for everybody to find out exactly where and how to join in. You'll get the maps, you'll get the information, the times, all those specific things that we really don't know right now. That we're Check. working out as we speak. Yep. Check uh, the FT Wallace site for the original Pond Creek Station. Yes. Yes. That's pretty cool. And there'll be opportunities for meals at some of these places. Yes. So check and plan ahead and plan your visit we'll to Western Kansas. We'll be Chuck Kansas. Wagon Supper at Pond Creek if That's anybody wants to. That's going to be so to. much fun. Come and join by us the there. great Doc Jones. Yeah. yeah, by Doc Jones, our friend from Colorado. We are bringing so many folks from so different, so many different states together, and Barry Ward's going to be there. So Barry Ward's going to be a long, incredible voice, talented man who was here with us a few weeks ago. He's going to be singing around the campfire, so you know it's going to be in tune and entertaining. Hey, and JD, isn't there going to be an historically correct campsite as well that's there, great for photography? Yes, there will be at uh, Pond Creek. We will have a, an original historical camp set up along with a more modern camp. And if you uh, play the fiddle or banjo or your guitar, bring it along. Maybe you can join Barry Ward at the night down there for entertainment. So check us out on the fortwallace.com page or the Ozarks or the Bowlers. Ozarkradionews.com or Western Vistas Historic Byway.com, and that the byway also lists all the attractions that you can visit while you're coming out to see the Stagecoach Line. This is a great one stop shopping as well if you want to find places to stay, other places to visit, and ways to explore Western Kansas. 
Y'all yeah, come. Dust in the way. All right, it's gonna be fun. Don't miss it. We're done. Adios. <laughs>